In this example, we're going to design a simple part that allows us to extrude in a couple different ways. I've opened up a new document and I'm working in inches. I'm going to right click, create a new component. The first side of this particular shape looks like an L. I'm going to use my line tool, select a face. I'm currently looking at the front view to draw an L shape and I'll purposely allow this to create certain constraints by locking to the grid. And I'll turn off snap to grid and I will use my dimension tool two point five three quarters three quarters two point five. Now I'm going to coincident this to the origin. This is fully constrained. From here, I can use my extrude or E on the keyboard. I'm going to select this closed loop and I'm going to extrude this two and a half inches. So I selected a profile. It's going in one direction, so it's starting here and moving out for a full dimension. It is a distance and the distance is going to be 2.5. There's no taper angle, and we're creating a whole new body. OK. If we rotate around, we have a three-dimensional part. A similar shape on this top face, so I'm selecting this face as my work plane. I'll make it easy on myself and snap. Snap. And I will close that loop. Using my dimension key, once my design is fully constrained, everything is black, I can hit stop sketch, and again, I'm going to extrude this. I'll select my face, closed loop. And I'm going to extrude that the same distance, 2.5. But if I notice, my part is floating. In order to make sure that it goes in the other direction, I can press negative 2.5. And that will join the two solid bodies together. I'll hit OK. And now I have the major portion of my shape. Let's create a hole. So I'm going to use center diameter circle or C and I'm going to draw it on this face. The hole itself is 0.75. I'll enter that and I will select the D on my keyboard again and I'll use the center to this line that distance is 1.25. I will use the center to this line, and that distance is 0.75. Now, place my circle, it's fully constrained. I will stop sketch. Now I'm going to extrude again, select my circle, closed loop, and I'm going to change a little bit about this extrude to make sure. I still want a profile plane, I still want to go in one direction, but now I'd like to go all the way through the part. So if I ever change a dimension of my part, I still know that the hole is going all the way through. It's going backwards, so I'm going to use the flip tool, and now that it's red, it's a cut operation, and we can see here this changed to a cut. I'll hit OK, and now I've got 
a hole that's all the way through. My last feature is a chamfer on this corner. I will draw a line on this face. I'll draw a line from this to here. Again, I'll use my D and I'm going to select this and this and I'm going to make sure that's at 45. And I also want to make sure from here to here is one inch and that should constrain. I'm going to stop my sketch. I'm going to extrude this triangle. And the next operation for extent is to object. I want to cut away portion of this and we can see on the actual example it does not go through. So when I cut this away, if I select all, flip my direction, it'll cut through the whole part. I don't want that. Instead, I'll select to object and now it's looking for a stopping face and I'll click this face. And now it's just cutting that portion. Again, it's a cut operation. I'll hit OK and I've completed my first part. Save.